Hey YouTube. I had gotten a couple of um, comments about what my crane is going to look like. So let me put a mark on here to see if you guys are going to see this window. If you are, I'll draw everything that I'm going to do inside of that. Okay, you can. Alright, good. So here's what I'm after. Now this is a section view. Okay, in other words, here's the ground. And here is a concrete block that I'm going to pour 30 inches by 30 inches. And I want to pour it, I want the footing on the bottom of it to be a spread footing. I want that footing to fill whatever the trench ends up being once I dig the hole so that it has a good solid base. Alright, so this is the ground here. Right, ground. That's the ground on both sides. And this is a hole in the ground. Alright, so then, looking at that from the top, all you're doing, this is, a, this is a section view, section, and this is a plan view, okay? So from the top, we're looking at roughly a 30 by 30, 30 inch by 30 inch square with the footing going wherever it wants to go, okay? And in the center of this square is going to be a 12 inch, and it has to be exactly 12 inches wide, um, diameter hole going down 24 inches. So that's going to look something like this. I want 8 inches on the bottom roughly, roughly, and it's going to come back up. So that's going to be a 12 inch diameter hole. I'll use sauna tube, a piece of tin, pipe, something to give me that shape, but I need to be able to get it out of there. Because unless I find a piece of pipe that's 12 inches in diameter exactly, which I know I can find somewhere, then I'll leave it in. Otherwise, I'll leave the concrete be, you know, the finished face. Alright, so then what this thing's going to look like. Now, I'm not interested in any new fangled stuff. I don't need to go buy a crane for $10,000 and set it up. It's not worth my effort. It's not worth my time. And it's not what I want. I want to build this as if this was back in the day, just like I built my sawmill shed to make it look old fashioned. That's what I'm after. Okay? So, anyway, this is what my crane's going to be like. It's 8x8s. These are both 8x8s. Okay? At least I think they are at this point. And then an 8x8 support. I'll probably put metal plates on it or whatever. I'm not sure. I'm sure about that yet. This is going to sit inside of this hole here. Okay? So. Let me get rid of this. This post is going to sit down inside here, like this. Now the height of it, I'm not sure of the height yet, because I want to measure my sawmill. I don't need it real high. It's probably going to be from the ground up 7 feet. Because all I have to do is to be able to pick up off my sawmill bunk, or off the ground by the sawmill, a log, pick it up, set it on there, and be able to turn that log. So I don't expect to unload trucks with this. All I expect to do is to be able to pick up a log that's laying on the ground. Because to unload trucks, I'll just use my backhoe and my forks if I have to. Alright, so now here's the crux of this thing. Down inside here, let's look at this 8x8 from the bottom up. I'm looking this direction, okay? What I want to do is that 8x8 is going to be sitting in a 12 inch circle, okay? Between the 8x8 and the circle of concrete or metal pipe, whatever it's going to be, I want to put wheels in there. So these wheels are actually going to be one on the top here and one on the bottom, on all four sides. So it'll be 4x4 four four, or the 8x8 eight sticking down into the ground here, alright? There'll be one here, 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 and then on the other sides as well. And that way, once I slip that down into that concrete sleeve, it's not going to be able to move back and forth, and I'll be able to rotate it. My only problem right now that I haven't figured out, and maybe if there's some engineers in the house, you guys can work on this, is I want to know what the stress is against this, this concrete stress here. In other words, this bending force that's right in here. That's what I need to know down in this area because I need to know whether this 30 by 30 inch concrete pad is going to be able to hold and I'm looking at about 3,000 pounds out here at the most okay I want to be able to pick up with a chain block 
3,000 pounds. And that, that's at 10 foot away from the center of this. So like I say, I haven't done the math on it. I think I can make this thing, like I say, about 7 foot high to this from the ground level. But this, I've had this idea for a while. I've been thinking about it since last year. I come up with this idea. I know I can get a 12 inch pipe. Even PVC would work because really, depending upon how big, how the wheels, how wide I make the wheels, the pressure against that I don't think is going to be that great. Although we'll see what it is once I get some feedback. If I have to plate this with plates, I will. If I have to put some plates in here somehow, I know I'm going to have to put a support in here somewhere. And that's all okay, that doesn't matter. Just so I can move this thing by hand. Now when I tell you where I got the idea for this thing, you're going to laugh. If you ever watched the movie Pirates of the Caribbean, Johnny Depp was standing on a dock grabbing a hold of a rope and he had some girl in his arms and he wanted to swing onto the boat. And apparently this was some sort of crane at the dock and it swung over and he sw swung onto a boat made out of rock. I think it had a rock base and a wooden tower. So I just want to do the, basically that same thing. I, I don't want any ideas for winches, remote control. I don't need that. I want to work to do this, okay? I do want to do the work. So this is why I'm thinking about doing this. Now, if you can give me some good comments on what you think about what I'm doing, um, good comments, then give them if you have some better ideas. So, like I say, what I'm after is the what's happening in here. That's what I need to know right now, and that's what I'll be working on soon. So if you guys are engineers, and I know there's a couple of you out there because I got emails from you, if uh, you guys can send me some, uh, or just make some comments with some information, I'd be happy to have that. But like I say, the arm up there will be 10 feet out, about 7 foot high, so this is, you know, not the scale naturally. That's what I'm coming up with, and that's what I'm going to build. That's why I cut that 8x8 the other day. So, um, that's it. So you said ask me about it. I actually have this on AutoCAD, but it's you don't get a really good picture of the whole thing when I show the AutoCAD drawing. But this is what I want to do. And I can turn that just by pushing on the log. I can lift it with a chain block. And that's all I want to do is get a lift log, set them on, twist the log as I see fit, you know, to turn the log with a chain. That's how I want to do it. Have a good one, guys. Bye.